like to share with you a single line sequencing idea that I was just playing with that has some interesting possibilities. It maps chord tones as a starting pitch and just moves through the same kind of scalar sequence in descent before rising again and descending again. I'd quickly say if you've not yet done so, please do subscribe to the channel. Like, share, and leave a comment. It is always good to hear from you what you're thinking and how your playing is going, any questions you might have or comments. If you'd ever like to send me a tip, that would be very nice, and my PayPal information is there in the description below. So this is going to all be F7 based. So we're going to follow F7 chord tones, I guess for this example, mostly on the second string. Of course, you could, you could do this all over the place, but I'm going to do it more or less in a singing kind of middle register here. The fingerings are just ones that I find convenient. You needn't do these fingerings. It's the idea that we're after, but I'll share the fingerings too. So we're going to start here on F, and we're going to descend to A. So it's a number of scale steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. So F, second string, sixth fret, then I'm just going to call out frets. Six, eight, seven, five, eight, five. Then as we reach this A, we're going to go up an octave to A. So in essence, we've gone from F to A. We're going to go to C to E flat to F to A. Just the chord tones of F7, which are F, A, C, E flat, and F. It's a root, a third, a fifth, a flat seven, and a root again. So just four pitches that we're centering on here. So here's A, 10th fret of the second string. 10, 8, 10, 8, 7, 10. Makes a little box, but not quite the box we're used to probably. So starting now from C, we got down here to C on the 10th fret, up to 13th fret, second string. Three notes on this string this time. 13, 11, 10, 12, 10, 11. And notice I'm sometimes replacing that last finger so I'm not using little finger and staying in position. I'm actually using second finger because I want to reach up to get this E flat here. We could reach up to this E flat, then I'm kind of staying in position. And I think there's a real benefit in playing this way melodically around the board rather than in position. I think there's more reaching and a little more uh, possible for glissando and things like that, for sliding and reaching and coaxing. A little more, a little more effort comes through in the sound. A little more tension somehow. So, sixteen. Second string, E flat. Now we're on the flat seven. 16, 15, 13, 15, down to 14th fret A, 12th fret. And now we're going to leap. I'm going to go here to this F, 18th fret. Uh, second string, then whole step down. 16, 15, 17, 15 down to A, 
14th fret. Now here we are at A, 17th fret of the first string, and now we're going to descend. 17, 15, 13, 14, ah, sorry, 16, 15, 13, 15, 14. I really don't think in frets. I think in pitches, so, uh, and it's morning, so my brain's not working quite yet. So up to C, if you want. That would be, what, 20th fret. So a little different than just running a, a sequence in scale steps. Here we're thinking of outlining a chord. seven makes you want to go maybe to B flat what if all this went to B B flat minor well some notes would have to change let's see doing harmonic minor I guess flat minor but I guess I conceived it going to B flat major that's just the first three notes of everybody but just I guess the point of this is to see chord tones as target tones which you might already do I hope you do and this might just be a novel way of looking at it, something to chew on, something to listen to. Hope you've enjoyed this very much. Let me know in the comments below. I do look forward to hearing from you, and as always, I wish you a very good day.